right, welcome back to the One Bar and La Biggest Show. I am La Biggest, and the Minnesota Vikings continue to flesh out their coaching staff. Well, not officially, but sounds like uh, moves are being made while Kevin O'Connell is prepping for the Cincinnati Bengals. Um, the latest guy to join the mix is running backs coach Curtis Modkins. We'll jump into Curtis Modkins here in a second, but be sure to join our Patreon channel if you have not yet done that. $2 a month gets you a free mystery vid every single week. Entry to a monthly drawing for One Bar and Lepagus swag and a chance to go on the One Bar quiz show to win more swag. All right, let's talk about our new, potentially new running backs coach, Curtis Modkins. Uh, this guy's got a pretty lengthy history, and um, he's just kind of always been a running backs coach with a little more experience. But, I mean, that's pretty much been his forte. He's been coaching running backs all his life. Uh, but he started out coaching at TCU. He was a secondary and tight ends coach there. Who done Georgia Tech, where he actually spent some time coaching defensive backs. Then he went to the Kansas City Chiefs, where he was the running back coach in 2008. Uh, then he went to Arizona, did the same for a season, 2010 to 2012. He was the Bills' offensive coordinator, so he does have some experience being an offensive coordinator. Then he went to the Lions from 2013 to 2015 to be their running back coach. Uh, and then here's the big one, 49ers in 2016. This is where he got experience working alongside uh, Kevin O'Connell. Both him and Modkins worked together on Chip Kelly's staff with the Niners back in 2016. Also, who was there at the time? Quasi Adafamenso was the manager of football research then. So that's kind of the big connection here. Where you see O'Connell reaching out to uh, Mr. Modkins, also having ties to Quasi. Bodes well for Modkin's uh, chances of coming over here and probably why they reached out to him in the first place. Uh, last uh, last couple of jobs he had, 2017, he was the Bears running back coach. And last three years, he had spent with the Broncos. You look at what he did with the Broncos, uh, running a two-headed monster, Melvin Gordon, Javante Williams, and also you got uh, Lindsey in the mix there. So uh, really, I mean, he took an undrafted guy in Philip Lindsey, made him pretty damn special there for a season or two. He used uh, Javante Williams and Melvin Gordon kind of interchangeably. So you wonder with him coming here, if that's maybe his approach, something he'd like to do and maybe have some ear in the offensive coordinator's, uh, some voice in the offensive coordinator's ear to use more than one running back. Maybe we'll see more Alexander Madison and find more ways to get Kenny and Wangu involved in the offense. So that's it. Uh, this sounds, you know, from what you can read about Curtis Mockin, sounds like this would be a pretty impressive addition to the coaching staff of Kevin O'Connell. I uh, look at who is replacing Rick Dennison, kind of an ancient beast there. Not very exciting, this guy. Uh, he's had some success. I love the fact that he's been an OC in the past. You know, it, 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 just having that experience is huge for not just a young head coach, but whoever he does bring in. Always having guys you can talk to. What should I do here? What are we thinking? Uh, always get a second opinion, I think, is very, very helpful. So Curtis Modkins, hopefully it works out. Hopefully this becomes official. Uh, early next week when Kevin O'Connell is officially named the head coach. But so far, I like the way uh, this, this coaching staff is shaping up. But let me know what you guys think in the comments about not just Curtis Mockins, but the coaching staff so far. Some of the names are being mentioned to the Vikings. If you like the names, don't like the names. Um, all right, that's about it, guys. Until then, always, most importantly, keep your skull in your hole. <laughs>